Less than 24 hours ago, the Senate made changes to a bill that would allow these in here. I would think that would be an absolutely awful idea. If this bill was passed, people could carry concealed weapons into bars and restaurants that serve alcohol. But those who carry would not be allowed to drink alcohol. Under South Carolina's current law, people with concealed weapon permits to carry guns can in restaurants that don't serve alcohol. Jason Hawa manages the bar at Bumsteads in Myrtle Beach and says even if people aren't allowed to drink, it will create problems for staff. If you were allowed to enter an establishment but not drink, I mean, then it becomes the, uh, the staff's responsibility to make sure you're not drinking or to police you inside of their own place. It's not just restaurants and bars that are wary of this proposed change. Even those who work at gun shops in our area are aware of the dangers that come with it. In 1996, Ted Gregg was chosen by the state to teach a course about carrying concealed firearms. My personal opinion as an instructor and as a firearm enthusiast is that alcohol and firearms never mix. But there is a way for businesses to opt out. The bill gives business owners the right to post a sign outside of their business banning firearms from coming inside. But Jason isn't convinced that this will help, particularly if some businesses ultimately choose to allow them. If they can do it in one place, they're going to do it the next place, whether they have a sign up or not, in my opinion. 